What's up guys, Mason the Brock Henderson here, and this is Arrow Season 6, Episode 3, Next of Kin. It's taking everything in my power right now to just calm myself down. You know, just don't need to freak out, don't need to get all upset, because frankly, what's the point? You know, I, I really thought about it as I'm watching this next episode. I'm like, you know, why am I getting so upset? What is the point of that? There's no, there's no reason for it, really. Because you look at it, and... There's no reason. It's, it's just a TV show. Sure, I'm upset that they ruined what was a great end to last season, but in the grand scheme of things, it's not the first time that they've ruined something great. So, yeah, we're just... I'm, I'm going to be calm about it. So, let's talk about this episode. Um, pretty much picking up where we left off last, you know, Diggle is now the Green Arrow. Oliver's deciding to spend time with his son. A um, couple points, though, going back to my last review... And that is, I talked about how this show wants to be taken so seriously with the whole, like, Oliver trying to be morally serious about, oh, I need to spend time with my son. And being very realistic about it when it's clearly not taking itself seriously for the past few seasons. Literally the first few seconds of this episode proves my point there because Diggle jumps off a building and Black Canary does her canary cry to knock him from one building to the other. And he is okay. Oh, we forget physics are a thing in this show. And then we want to be very serious when it comes to Oliver and his son. I mean, come on. Oh, man. So, yeah, that was a thing. They managed to catch the, uh, the Faust guy from the first episode, the one that you know blew up the police station because that one cop was an idiot and let him do it. Um, they managed to catch him. But the FBI agent still isn't having it because she sees that Green Arrow is no longer using his arrows as Oliver is all of a sudden not a part of the Arrow team anymore. So kind of proving my point from the last time, you know, people are going to figure this out. You know, oh, Mayor Queen isn't anywhere to be seen when Green Arrow's around, but now he is, and the Green Arrow's different now. No arrows, he looks black, hmm... So, yeah, she's calling him out on it, but of course, Oliver and Quentin both just, like, blow her off. Uh, but Quentin does bring up a very good point that the more that Mayor Queen uh, supports the Green Arrow and supports these vigilantes, the more he does that, the more power it takes away from the police. And so he kind of has an idea of what to do, uh, passing a law about anti-vigilantism or whatever. So, you know, if you support this bill... Maybe she'll, the, the councilwoman will let you put in some of your own little things to sort of help out the team. But of course, Oliver knows that that's not going to happen, so he tries to come up with another idea. Ultimately, what this leads to is at the end of the bill, or at the end of the episode, they're talking about the bill, and he walks in there and says, you know, last night these vigilantes just saved 100 people. So if we are going to want to give power back to our police officers, we don't need to do it by having them spend time trying to catch these vigilantes. We need to have them trying to catch the bad guys, which is a very good point. Um, so then he decides, you know, he kind of steps in and says, all right, we're going to put it to a citywide vote. So now the people of Star City get to vote on whether or not this bill should pass. So I don't know. It, it's a clever idea, but frankly, you have one good idea out of these first three episodes. <laughs> I'm not sold. So that was the only good thing about this episode is that that is a very clever idea. Um, surprisingly enough, it involves politics, which normally whenever it comes to this show is terrible with dealing with politics. But anyway, um, so after we're done with that, we also are talking about Diggle leading the new team. Uh, obviously, there's going to be some growing pains with this new leader stepping in. On top of that, you know, knowing that Diggle has some issues, you know, the shaking hand. Steps in, doesn't quite have the leadership mentality, so in the very first mission that they go on, he freezes in the field. He doesn't have an idea of what to do, and so the bad guys get away and nearly kill a bunch of people. So, Rene is rightfully pissed about this. He goes to Oliver to talk to him, and Oliver just says, you know, look, you gotta trust him. Oliver then goes to talk to Diggle, who, again, decides not to tell him anything, because, you know, why would you want to tell Oliver something that could potentially save the lives of hundreds of people? You know, hey... I can't do this job well enough. I'm dealing with something. Oh, okay, well, we'll let you figure out that. I'll step in until you can get that figured out. Or even just maybe Dinah should lead the team. 
You know, she actually has some very good points whenever Renee is blaming Diggle for what happened. She's like, look, we need to just put it behind us and move on as a team. I'm like, yeah, she's doing a better job of leading the team than Diggle is. Why isn't she the leader? I know she's new, but I mean, she's the lieutenant of the police office, so I don't understand why she's not technically the leader of the team. I mean, she doesn't have to be Green Arrow, but she could still be the leader. But whatever, we're going to keep Diggle in the lead. Of course, this all leads to when they're stopping the bad guys, Diggle comes up with a good plan uh, to have Curtis and Dinah stop the gas while he and Renee go track down, uh, I think her name was Onyx, and the guy that she's trying to catch. So, yeah, he manages to step in, do the right thing, save the day, and so now everybody trusts his leadership again. But, of course, you know, there weren't enough stories in this show, so we decided to throw in another little subplot. Uh, Felicity and Curtis come up with a nice little contraption. It's like a crossbow that he can use to shoot arrows now. Um, and so, you know, he's not, an, he's not a marksman. He's not an archer, but he can use guns very well. And so now this will let him be using his guns, but now they're shooting arrows. So, clever contraption, but I'm thinking, all right, but he's still got the tremors, right? Well, very first test, he shoots. I'm like, oh, okay, so they're gone now? Are they just gone here because he's not in the field, or are they gone permanently? But then, at the end of the episode, we see him go into some shady alley and then pick up some drugs that he shoots into his arm to stop his tremors. So, yeah, <laughs> never seen this one before. You know, the guy that... He's somehow magically better, and we find out he's taking drugs on the side and not telling the team about it. Totally, totally, totally new and original. I mean, guys, have you seen this before? I guarantee you probably haven't. Like I said, there's no reason to get mad about it because who cares anymore? This, this show is stupid. They're going to do cliche things like this? Let them do it. I don't care anymore. So, yeah, we got that going on. Uh, we've got Oliver dealing with family time because, you know, we need to have another show within this show. So let's have Oliver being family man Oliver. You know, the, I don't know, what, what, what should we call it? Fresh Prince of Stars. No, that was more about, that's not really a father-son thing. Um, father-son sitcoms. I'm sure there's one out there. I just, I've not really seen a whole lot of father-son sitcoms, but I'm sure there's a good one out there. Send me your best ideas, you know, in the in the comments. What should we call this show? You know, something to kind of parody another show. But yeah, so it's it's pretty much an entirely different show within Arrow. Uh, Oliver dealing with his son's problems. In fact, when he goes into his the the mayor's office and Quentin's there, he's like, you "Got a problem?" And most of the time, he'd be like, "Yeah, we can't seem to find this, you know, the bad guy. We can't seem to find the person who blew up whatever last night." This time, he's like, "Yeah, William's having trouble with math." Oh no! William's having trouble with math. W whoa! I don't know what to. <laughs> I mean, you see, you see the problem with this. Most of the time, it's we need to stop this guy. Now it's William's having trouble with math. So Oliver is apparently having trouble getting through to his son. Felicity steps in as a tutor because she's on the same level with William as far as having parents who don't really know how to help. Um, so yeah, she steps in to help. Somehow William is actually able to concentrate on the work and not on Felicity. Because, I mean, once again, this show knows kid characters so well. When a young adolescent boy is being tutored by this woman who is very attractive and very smart, they'd definitely be like, yeah, let's talk about quadratic formulas. Yeah, I, I need to know more about this because... Man, my math test. I need to really focus on my math test right now. I'm not looking at you at all. I'm totally focused on these math books. Do you not know kids? I mean, last episode you had kids picking on another kid because his dad was a superhero. Then you had a kid who was playing video games but didn't know what video game he's playing or how to play. Now you've got a kid being tutored by a hot woman and he's completely focused on the work and not the woman herself. Come on, Arrow. I mean... I can only not take you seriously for so long. At some point, you do have to throw in something that makes sense. So yeah, she steps in to help him. Um, Oliver is seen going to her house a couple times and delivering food. And in the end, like they have a romantic moment. I'm just like, I don't care. Because Felicity and Oliver should not be together. And we've seen that many a times. And the show keeps thinking, hey, this is a good idea. So let's keep doing this. And it's just stupid and stupid and stupid and stupid. So yeah, apparently they're hooking back up. Um... And if you want even more reason why they shouldn't be together, uh, Oliver is talking to Felicity about, like, 
William or something like that, you know, saying he, he's a good kid and stuff like that. And Felicity's just like, well, yeah, but you're a good guy too. You know, you got really good abs. I'm like, problem number one. <laughs> you know, when the woman is saying nothing but you've got really good abs, I mean, if that's your first focus, then clearly you're not in love with the person. You're in love with the person. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, whatever. They're going to do this again. <laughs> Oliver is no longer Arrow. Now he's just dealing with family's problems and mayoral problems and... The team itself is in tatters right now. They're narrowly making it through. They're narrowly saving lives. Even when they do, you know, Dinah and Curtis end up blowing half of a building up, or at least a section of the building up, because they couldn't find out another way to stop the gas. So, yeah, you know, it's, it's just going downhill, and there's no saving it at this point. You know, there, honestly, there's nothing they could do to get me back into this. You already wasted your one good thing which was Adrian Chase's Prometheus. That was brilliant. Everything that they did at the end of last season was brilliant, and now it's crap again. And there's just no rebounding from that. When you are that good and go that bad, you can't come back up. Even if there is something that's pretty cool, I'm just I'm not really going to be able to get into it. I'm not emotionally invested anymore. And that's the biggest crime that this show committed. So, yeah. Arrow, you have failed the CW. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. What were your thoughts on this episode? Let me know. We can talk about it and discuss all that good stuff. Leave a like and subscribe for your Arrow reviews. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.